Dolls that terrify people are nothing new. It's even been the subject of countless horror movies that feed into that fear. It makes you wonder though, how is it that so many dolls and toys that are made for children end up being so high up on the creep factor? Today we'll take a look at five allegedly haunted dolls caught on camera. Real or fake? Well, that's up to you to decide. Number five, Clyde the Clown. Emmett Kelly was a popular circus performer who was active through a large majority of the 1900s. He also serves as an inspiration for many old clown statues and dolls. There's even a doll collection named after him. One of these dolls in the collection is named Clyde. This particular doll was gifted to a YouTuber who goes by the name The Soul Catcher. He was informed that this doll does have a haunted history, and it doesn't take long for him to start noticing strange activity centered around the doll. From moving out of the position it was left in to being found in entirely different locations around the house. Still skeptical and wanting to see solid proof, the owner of the doll decides to set up a camera in his basement and record its activity through the night. As if the doll itself isn't creepy enough, what he captures the following nights is downright terrifying. Every night that he records his doll, it seems to be making very intentional movements on its own. Not only that, but the owner is woken up in the morning with bruises and handprints on his arm. So is this Clyde the Clown doll haunted by an angry spirit? Or is it all just a big show for the camera? You decide. This is all part of a nine-part investigation that can be seen in its entirety over on the YouTube channel, The Soul Catcher. Number four, The Haunted Antique. Andy Gross is a professional ventriloquist, comedian, magician, and somewhat of an OG YouTuber. He posted his first ventriloquist video back in 2008, and his most recent video was about a month ago as of this recording. One day, after noticing his antique collection of ventriloquist dummies had been moving positions when he leaves the house, he decides to see if he can catch some of the activity on camera. He's not sure if it's his wife or kids playing a joke on him, so he places the camera in a hidden location and intends to let it record for the next 48 hours while he's out of town performing. Once he gets home, he checks the footage and is thoroughly freaked out at what he finds. Hey everyone, Andy Gross here. So I am in a room in my house where I keep some of the dummies. And let me explain what's been going on. Lately when I've been coming back from some of my shows, these guys have changed positions. Now, I don't mean just a little bit. I mean like this guy here with the black hat. His head was actually turned all the way around last week when I came home. The guy on the end in the white right there, he was laying down inside the case. So I don't know if it's my wife or my kids or who's messing with me, but somebody's messing with me. So nothing really on day one that I saw, but then day two. Right? Um, I have him. I took the puppet out of the case. He's right down here. Let me grab him. And uh, I looked looked at him, examined him, made sure he was okay. He looked normal to me. There was nothing weird that I saw on him. Um, this is him. One of the dummies moves his head from one side to the other. Based on the way the dummy is left sitting, mixed with the laws of gravity, it wouldn't make sense for its head to move in that direction. Andy examines the dummy and doesn't find anything to be wrong with it. So is this antique doll haunted? Is someone playing a joke on Andy? Or is he playing a joke on us? I'll leave that up to you to decide. Number 3. Mr. Fritz Professional magician and entertainer Michael Diamond has been performing since 1989. From close-up magic to large-scale illusions, Michael is also well known for having one of the rarest sideshow exhibits in the UK. Most of the items in his exhibit cost him quite a lot of money to acquire, but there's one item in particular that he was asked to take for free. It was an allegedly haunted ventriloquist doll that goes by the name of Mr. Fritz. Mr. Fritz was built in 1945 and was used to entertain allied POWs during World War II. The doll has struggled to find a home ever since. Its previous owner opted to give the doll away due to an alarming amount of activity and oddities traced back to the doll. 
Even though not much remains of Mr. Fritz, this has not stopped it from producing strange activity. As soon as Michael adopted the remains of the antique doll, things immediately started happening. Michael decided to set up a GoPro camera to monitor the doll's actions throughout the night. This is what he captured. You can see the display case that contains Mr. Fritz open seemingly on its own. You can also see the position of its eyes change and its lips moving. This kind of activity was the reason the previous owner chose to give the doll away for free. But what are your thoughts? Is this a real haunted ventriloquist doll? Or is it just all special effects with a good story to go along with it? You be the judge. Number 2. Elf on a Shelf Elf on a Shelf was created in 2004 by Carol Ambersold and her twin daughters. According to the book it's accompanied with, the elf sits around various locations of the home watching the children's behavior, and then reports back to Santa Claus to inform him if the children should be on the naughty or nice list. Children may wake up in the morning to find that the elf has moved to a different position or a different location altogether. Having the knowledge that the elf moves around the house on its own possibly contributes to childlike wonder, but for parents and adults, Knowing a toy elf is moving around the home would be an absolute nightmare. On December 1st, 2012, Arnaldo Lopez was in the Christmas spirit as it was fast approaching and was casually filming his decorations when something very unexpected happens. So this is Carol, our Christmas elf. Hello, Carol. Hey. Tell Santa we've been really, really good, okay? <gasps> As Arnaldo gets a close-up of the elf, you can see its eyes shift. This seems to alarm Arnaldo as he can be seen quickly backing away from the doll as he turns the camera off. So what do you think? Does the elf on the shelf actually have a mind of its own? Or did somebody try their hand at Adobe After Effects? I'll leave that up to you. If you made it this far, thank you for watching and please make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on our weekly videos. You can also follow us on our other platforms here. That's our Facebook and our IGTV. And if you come across any scary or creepy video clips on the net, please feel free to send it to us at thefearnetwork.com with .com spelled out at gmail.com. And if we use it, we'll be sure to give you credit. Now, let's get back into it. Number 1. The Possessed Doll Charles Demonium believes that a certain doll he owns is possessed. This doll's name is Michael. Michael is a composition doll that has been in Charles' family for three generations. First starting as his great-grandmother's, it was passed on to his grandmother and finally to his mother when she was a child. For some reason, when Charles was a child, he got the feeling that the doll didn't like him and would suffer panic attacks whenever he was around the doll. His mother, not wanting to throw away her childhood toy, decided to put the toy in her closet. Charles claims that this made the doll envious of the attention his mother gave him, but doesn't exactly explain how he came to this conclusion. Many years later, 
Charles came across Michael the doll while cleaning his mother's closet. He decided to take it home and launch a full investigation in order to finally solve the issue that plagued him for years. Night after night, he records the doll. This is what he captures. The lights always seem to mysteriously go on and off and Michael's arm can be seen moving on its own. Charles also claims that his behavior is getting more aggressive. He tries putting Michael next to another doll, and then an angel. Michael does not seem to be interested in welcoming any new company. Each time another doll is placed next to Michael, he seemingly pushes them to the floor. So is Michael actually haunted, or is there another explanation? As always, you be the judge. You can see Charles' entire investigation over on his YouTube channel, Charles Demonium. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all soon.